Hey guys, this is the Joe Jaguar Angeles show. So what are we doing today in the backyard? Okay, so we are gonna be testing. That one there is a Celestron four inch F6.5 refractor. Just a regular Acromat refractor, nothing expensive. And we're going to test it against the Takahashi four inch. They're both four inch size. Of course, the Takahashi is much better quality, but I want to see, and Angelus, you're pretty new still at astronomy, right? Yes. Right. So we're going to see, can a brand new person see any difference in, you know, a... In quality. Yeah, in something that's maybe $400 uh, telescope to something that's probably $4,000 telescope. All right, we're going to be honest. If you can't see much of a difference, or if you see a difference... We're going to try to, let's see if it's like, is it 10% difference, is it 20% difference, 50% difference, or tell the truth if you see absolutely no difference, because, you know guys, looking at a little one inch eyepiece, and then it's going to be, I don't know, one third of that in the eyepiece, sometimes a lot of new people cannot tell much difference when you're looking at little tiny detail in an eyepiece, and that's normal. The more you do it, like any hobby in sports, the more you begin to see it. The better you get, just like, I guess if you train, weight training, running, track and field, the more you do it, the better you, you, you'll become. So this is not really showing off this one against that one. This video is gonna be, can somebody brand new see any difference in a $400 telescope or something that's $4,000? And you know, I've said a few times on a couple of videos, sometimes I would recommend a brand new person start with a regular Acromat telescope. Forget about going into Apple Chromatic. That's after. But can we see a difference? And we're mainly just gonna be on Saturn today. Just because uh, the Saturn, it's easier to tell the rings, the Cassini division, stuff like that. Jupiter, sometimes it's, it's more fuzzier, it's more bloaty. Uh, it's not crystal clear. So the Saturn's rings will get us a clearer image. Anyway. And I like it more. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody likes Saturn, yeah. More. yeah. But um, yeah, that's it. So we're gonna see what happens. Okay, guys. Okay, so take a look. So right now we have um, 14, 14 millimeter in the Celestron, which is about 47 power, 45 power here. So they're virtually, now take a take a look there and then take a look on that light. Something for your phone. Hi Dela. You're in your flash. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, take a look there. And they're both virtually the same power. Study it and tell me if you can tell anything different. Well, I see bigger here. With the same. The other one it looks very tiny. But they're both the same power. So it doesn't matter. It should be the same tiny in both of them. Well, but I see, I see a little clearer, like a more clear. Yeah, me too. You can see, even on 45 power guys, you could see Saturn, Saturn's rings. I could see one moon below the ring, like an inch below, or a couple inches, right? But I do see flaring, or false color. Now come over here, babe, take a look one more time. Yeah. What I want you to do is, when, when I'm looking at the planet, I see like a, almost a purple color, or like a reddish purple color. Tell me if you see that. And there's none here. I see like a little redness, yeah. Yeah, redness, right? So that's false color. False? Be false color, yeah. Because the lens is not of high quality, you're seeing that. I don't see it here, but you know what? Even in 45, 47 power? Yeah, I see the purple too. Like yeah. a little purple reflection. So that's what you don't want to see, but it's still good. I mean, most people will still be okay, but I think this one's already sharper. You can just tell. To me, it's sharper. Now we have to boost the power, right? And let's, let's double it. We'll be back. And then, okay, so take a look at this one. Six millimeter, 110 power. Okay. Basically doubled. The power. Yeah, you're almost gonna say almost. It's a little bit high. Actually, it looks nice. Okay, so you think? Okay, as a brand new person, you would enjoy that, right? 
Yes. Yeah, you can see the planet and you can see the rain. But I still I don't see the the the, the, the how you say it? like the air between in the rain? Like I can the, see another the, time. The Kissini division. The Kissini like division. the gap. No, we have to go higher, like closer to two hundred power, I think. No, we won't be able to see the Kissini division yet. Okay. So but, but yes, I see. I see why you say that purple and like a redness around yeah. the rain. Okay, take a look at that one now. Yeah. So we're about a hundred and two hundred and ten power. It's semi close. Well, this is still good. See. So again, guys, I think anybody brand new would enjoy this view, right, from Saturn. Yes. A four hundred dollar telescope. I think for brand new people, they'll they'll be happy with. So you don't need to get no fancy stuff. This would be good enough. But yes, I see Saturn. You can see its ring clearly defined. It's just sharper in the Takahashi. Okay. It gets like a more narrow, no, the view. I cannot well, see any more the sky like before. Well, yes, we're it 200. We're 200 power now. Now, this one's much, much clearer than that one. That one's a little fuzzy. Well, I'm having a hard time here to focus on the two hundred. Because it's maybe too narrow? No, because that focuser is not as good as this focuser. Can you see? I see like a little, I don't my eye, but I see like a more blurry. Yeah, this this is it. This is as good as you're gonna get at 200 power from this one. No, but yeah, I I, I see like the more fuzzy, more blurry. Yeah, remember the planets are f getting further and further. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna look with this guy, and that's it. I was trying to say the planets are getting further and further away. It's not its best condition as like three months ago. You understand? Yeah. So it's slowly gonna get worse and worse. Okay, I'm putting it over here. Just let it slowly drift and then that way you can see a nice view. So right now we're at 272 power in the Takahashi, which is a lot. Beautiful. I can see the lines. Okay, see you I like it more this one. Yeah, I can see the difference. There is no halo, there is no color or anything, it's clear. But you know what, I have to do it without the glasses, guys. Well, yeah. yeah with the yeah, glasses, I get like a glare, and then it's like a, I cannot see it. Babe, that's normal. The reason is when you're looking at a telescope, your focus, the, the telescope focuser becomes your glasses. glasses yes. And so you don't. But for me, it's still it's hard to see the, the casino. It's a little bit too windy today. And we're at like 272 power. So you just have to keep studying, looking, studying. But today, with the wind, might not be able to do it. No? No. Why do the wind have to do with the, with the view? First of all, it's shaking. So oh. if, the, if, if the telescope shakes one millimeter and we're at 300 power, that's kind of like it's shaking 300 millimeters. You understand? Second of all, if it's windy down here, the turbulence up there is probably really shaky. So it's shaking the turbulence, and we're trying to look through the atmosphere. You know what I mean? So. Um, okay. Good anyway. Enough. Thank you, baby. Okay, guys. So there's our conclusion. Yes. So. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, you, you tell me what you think first before I tell you my conclusion. Well, actually, quality is nice, but guys, if you're a beginner and you don't have the 4,000 and you're starting, the Celestron actually, the Celestron? Celestron. Celestron, yeah. Actually, it looks very nice with a less power. You could see the planet, I think, so you will be satisfied. But yes, I realize right now that there is a, a halo, halo? Halo, yeah, yeah. Halo and like a purple redness. Yeah. And in the, in the Katahashi, Katahashi? Takahashi. <laughs> Takahashi. <laughs> or just say tack. Takahashi. Tack. Takahashi. Just tack. Some most people call it tack for short. Sure. Okay, the tack, you don't see it. It's more clear, more defined, and yes, I like it. Yeah. Okay, so I agree. So even at the 45, 47 power, I could see the the tack was just more crystal clear, more defined and sharp. 
but however and if, of course and then the medium and the high power but then again there's a huge difference in price in the quality again i would agree and it's not only celestron mead makes uh, a good one uh, sky watcher celestron they're all if you're on a budget you know the most important thing guys is get out there and enjoy whatever hobby it is so if you're in this hobby astronomy and you want to look at the planets you know, don't, you know, because I've heard it too, oh, I can't afford it, but don't worry about that. Get something you could afford because even in that one, yeah, uh, I mean, nice. yeah, I, I mean, if I were to sell that guy used, just a, a, the telescope itself without the mount, it'd probably be like $150 in the used market. Get a tripod. So with a tripod, you know, the used and everything, it's probably like uh, 300 bucks, uh, probably five to 600 new around there so again it doesn't have to be anything expensive just enjoy the hobby even at the 200 power even though it was a little bit of red in it like a bloaty and um, wasn't crystal clear you can still see Saturn's rings you can still see Saturn I can still see a moon below it so just enjoy it you don't need the best of you know everything it's, if you can't afford a, a Ferrari or a Porsche or Lamborghini what you're not gonna drive you have a Honda? Buy a Yera. <laughs> Buy, Buy something you will enjoy. It doesn't matter. So uh, this was not to show off the Takahashi against that one because really it's not even a fair comparison. But I wanted to see if somebody brand new could tell the difference between an expensive one and a not an expensive one. Yeah. And if you couldn't, that would just be, you know, uh, agreeing that just buy something to start off with, which yeah. is what I would recommend anyway. I wouldn't... I would not recommend something that expensive for somebody brand new. No. Start start slow and work your way up. And if you want that one later in life, then sure. But again, I could tell the difference, but I would recommend just get a decent telescope um, to start with. And then that's it. Enjoy the hobby. Yes. I'm okay. enjoying it. <laughs> there we go. So Joe Jaguar. Angeles. Out. Like. And exactly. Like us. Comment and subscribe. There. Come on. And you heard it from a newbie. The Celestron view is still good. So yeah, just, it's good. If you're thinking of getting one, don't be worried about it. it's only two, three hundred dollars. As long as you watch my show, uh, my videos, and you see which what is good to start and what is not good, because there's a lot of bad ones, but there's a lot of good ones in that price range too. Yes. You know, two to four hundred dollars, you can definitely get something good that you will see a lot of stuff. So just enjoy it. Okay. Bye, guys. Cheers.